Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Code Elevate. In the previous video, we created full stack API to get all the posts in our Spring Boot and Angular application. In today's video, we will create a new component and we will call this get all post method from there and we will write the HTML code to show all posts. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, we need to create a component first. So we will right click on the pages folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as view all and as you can see our view all component is ready. Now we will open app routing dot module dot ts and here we need to create a new route and to do this we will duplicate existing create post route. And after this we need to update the path and we will mention view all and then we need to update the component and we will update it to view all component. And that's it for our routing file. Now let's save this file and let's open our app.component.html and here in the mat toolbar we need to add another button. So let's duplicate the create new post button and after this we will update the router link URL and we will set it to view all. And then we need to update the text of the button and we will replace it with view all post. Now let's save this file as well and let's open our pages folder and inside pages let's open view all and view all dot component dot ts. And in this component first of all we need to create a constructor and in this constructor first of all we need to inject our post service to call the APIs and after this we will inject mat snack bar to show the messages. Now let's click on quick fix and let's add all missing imports. Now we need to write a method to call the APIs and we will name this method as get all posts and in the body of this method we will use our post service and we will call get all posts method and after this we need to subscribe the response and we will name this as res and we will write an arrow function. And after this to handle the errors we need to add an error block as well. And in case of any error we will use snack bar and we will show a message something went wrong. And in the case of success let's write a console log statement. And in this we will pass the response. And with this our method is completed. Now we need to call this method when the component gets load. So let's write the ng on init method. And in the body of this ng on init method, we will call this get all post method. And now let's save this file and let's run our application. And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. Now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our API call. And in the browser, let's right click on this page and let's click on this inspect button. And after this, we need to open the console. So let's click on this console tab. And as you can see, we got one button which is view all post. Now let's click on this view all post button. And as you can see, we got redirected to our view all component. And in the console, we got the response of our API in which we can see two records of post. Now let's go back to our VS code and let's write the HTML code to show this data on this page. And in our view all component, we need to store the response of this API in some variable. So let's create a variable all post. And after getting the response of our API, we will call this all post variable and we will set the value of res in it. Now let's save this file and let's open our HTML file. And in our HTML file, we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of card container. And after this, we will apply ng for loop on it. And after the let keyword, we will name the single post as item. And after the off keyword, we will write the variable name, which is all post. And after this, in this card container, we will write a tag for the mat card. And in this mat card, we will write a tag for the mat card header. And in this mat card header, first of all, we need to show the avatar. So we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of example header image. 
and after this we need to show the name of the post so we will write mad car title tag and we will call item dot name to get the name of the post and after the name of the post we need to show the username who posted this so we will write mad cart subtitle tag and for the text we will write posted by and after this we will call item dot posted by and after this we need to show the posted date and for the text we will write posted on and after this we will call item dot date and we will format this date by using date pipe and after this we need to show the other details of the post so we will write a tag for the mat grid list and for the columns we will give it as 5 and in this first of all we need to show the image so we will use mat grid tile tag and in this we will use image tag and for the source we will bind it with item dot image and we will give it a class of post image and after this we need to show the content of the post so we will write another mat grid tile tag and we will close this tag as well and in this tag we will use mat card content tag and we will call item dot content dot length and if it is greater than 600 then we will apply substring method and we will get first 600 letters and then we will add these dots and in the else case we will just call item dot content and with this the details of the post are completed now we need to show the action buttons so let's write hr tag and after this we will write a mat card actions tag and first of all we need to show a button to display the like count of the post so we will use a button tag and we will call item dot like count and for the mat icon we will use favorite and after this we need to show the view count so we will write another button tag and we will call item dot view count and for the mat icon we will use remove underscore red underscore i and after this we need another button to redirect the user to the detail page of the post so we will write another button tag and for the text we will show view post and with this our html code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our css file and in this file i will paste the css code you can pause the video and you can copy this simple css code now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and in the browser we will click on this view all post button and as you can see we got redirected to the view all page and we can see two posts here on this page where on the top we have the name of the post and after this we have posted by username and after this we can see the date of the post and then we have the image and content of the post and at the end we have a button to view the like count to view the view count and after this we have a button to redirect the user to detail page of the post and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create an api to get the details of the post by the id